So we're continuing our discussion on Action JavaScript that opens up a grid uh, when, you when you invoke the action. So let's go back now and edit our action over here. And we'll go back now and we'll change from a modeless pop-up now to the third option here which is a drop-down. So let's go ahead now and uh, save this and then uh, run this. And when you can see here when I press the button Basically, the drop-down style opens up the window underneath uh, the button that was pressed and the window uh, doesn't have a title bar. So that means that uh, there's, no, there's no way to close this uh, window by clicking on a close button. It uh, closes automatically when you just click anywhere off the window. So you can see if I click there now, the window goes away. Now, um, let's quickly go back now to um, the uh, the uh, pop-up window styles you can see there if I go let's go back to uh, modal pop-up you'll see that there's an optional uh, window position over there and by default the window is opened up in the center of the screen and uh, uh, then if you move it the next time you pop it up it'll remember that position but you can see here that there's a lot of flexibility in positioning where the window gets opened so for example, I could open it at an absolute position uh, and give it say, you know, 10 pixels uh, uh, X and 10 pixels Y, which would be uh, relative to the top uh, left hand corner. Uh, we could center it, we could also go in view, which makes sure that the window is always in view regardless of the scroll position of the page. And then relative, um, which can either be relative to self, which is the control you clicked or some other control and then relative can be you know fly out or fly out bottom or pop up so there's there's a, just a lot of options in uh, positioning the uh, the pop up windows so we look now at um, the different window styles that you can have pop up modal pop up modeless and drop down now let's take a look at the uh, div option so i'm going to go here and choose div and then I'm going to go and specify the ID of the div where I'd like to open up the window. And I'm just going to go here and type in div1, all in lowercase. So now, um, now I have to go and make sure that there's an actual div called div1 somewhere on my page. Now, it can be anywhere on the page, but I'm going to just go here to uh, Properties and then go to uh, the Freeform section. And I'll go to the Freeform section that is below the grid and I'll type in some HTML over here. So I'll go here and type in div id equals div1 slash div and then what I'll do is um, just so it's clear where the div is I'll go here and put in some text that says uh, um, b um, grid will appear below this line and this is just so we know where that um, where that div is on the page. So now let's uh, save this and go to working preview so you can see there's um, my div so it's underneath over there. So now when I press the button you can see the grid is opening up uh, exactly where I positioned um, the div on the page. So that was uh, another option in uh, uh, that you can use for positioning the uh, child grid that gets, uh, that gets opened up. And then finally, let's just go back here and look at one, one other option, which we'll just discuss. Uh, and that is the option to show the uh, child grid, not in a window or a div, but in a tabbed UI pane. So if this grid is being run, if the parent grid is being run inside a tab UI component, when I press the button, it's going to open up the grid in a new tab UI pane. If the grid is not running, if the parent grid, which is, in other words, this grid, is not running in a tab UI object, then uh, this degenerates gracefully into just opening up the child grid in a pop-up window. So uh, this describes all the various options for um, opening a grid, um, opening a target grid using Action JavaScript. Thanks very much.